the good news is, is that you've, there's, there's certain things that, that add, um, which you've, you know, I think you've done some of add time and complexity to this. And primarily that's, you know, if, if you're not settling up right there at the house with the homeowner, then you'd have to make phone calls later and, and work that into your schedule, but you don't have to do that. Um, so I would say you're on the right track, right? With especially, uh, front loading stuff that in the night before, or when you get your files and you, you've made all your contacts and you're going back through and putting everything in Xactimate, um, going is taking everything as far as you can in Xactimate while you're in there. Right. And that's, that's pretty common, um, advice. I think that a lot of trainers will give you and managers and stuff. Um, and it's a, it's a smart way to do it. And as much as you can, you think of, try to think of things that you can do, you know, if you can get a roof sketch in there somehow, even if it's like, you just look at the satellite image and you just get the basic shape of it without, and then go and get the measurements and fix it all up when you get there, that even yep. saves you time at the house. Um, the way I did it for a long time, or well, for the whole time that I was an adjuster was I tried to optimize my workflow to the point to where I could close the whole thing. And back when I did claims, which wasn't that long ago, um, I did have to settle up with the homeowner. In a lot of cases, we had to do checks and stuff. Um, so I was at the house, writing the whole thing up, and then I go back inside and mm -hmm. um, go over the estimate with them, hand them a copy, print a copy, or you know, email it to them or whatever. And um, that's the carriers like that because it's like the best customer service. But they, I think there's, you know, right. they're finding that good enough customer service is splitting it up a little bit, which is pretty. It's pretty common, I think. So front loading stuff as much as possible. Um, doing your claims recon beforehand. You know, looking at the satellite imagery, um, especially if you're looking at the loss report and it's like a $1.2 million house and you're in like the middle of nowhere, Iowa, you know, it might be a big spread. Um, right. You're going to want to take a look at the satellite imagery to make sure there's not like five sheds in the backyard and, you know, 600 yards of fence and all this kind of stuff that you got to look at because um, it'll take you longer, obviously. Or the roof is like mm. a bunch of funny angles with a geodesic dome on one side and like a helicopter right. pad and all this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's a good, that's a good start right there. Um, as, and then as far as like at the house, um, and this is a kind of a small thing. And so it's not really, I don't know, it's going to move the needle a whole lot for you, but typically what I always did was when I got out of the truck, I would grab all my stuff, including my ladder, and I would pull my camera out and take the risk photo. And then I would go set the ladder up, tie it off, and then go and talk to the insured. And then that way, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, you know, let's get started with this. And I go inside from there and then jump up on the rope. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go walk all the way back out to my truck to get the ladder. Um, it could be five seconds or it might be like a minute because you're walking, you know, 50 yards down to go back to your truck. Um, little tiny things like that um, make a big difference. And so I would say using checklists is awesome. And what I would start doing if you haven't started doing it already is to time stuff. Right. So you just look at your clock. I got here at, you know, 2.59 and, you know, I, I would write in the margin of my loss report or whatever I was working on, you know, just kind of 
how long the interior scope took, you know, nine minutes and nine minutes. I would round up to the nearest minute or whatever. And then the roof took this long and the, the elevations and outbuildings took this long. And then that way I could like, I would work to, to try and find a way to like, uh, really find a better ways of moving around properties faster. Um, and the other thing was one of the, I think the big things is, and I'm just kind of like spitballing here, but the, with the photos, taking just the right number of photos, right? A lot of adjusters, mm -hmm. I'm not saying to do this, but a lot of adjusters will take a gazillion photos thinking, oh, I'm giving going to give them a bus extra stuff to look at, or I'm going to try to take a whole bunch of extra right. stuff. And, and then later on, I'll like scope from my photos or whatever. And I think that that just, it creates extra work for the adjuster, but it also creates extra work for file review, who you want to be able to, to glance at your file and be like, this looks great and send it up, right? You got fence in your estimate, boom, I can see it real super fast. I can find it easily in the photos. It's that we're good to go, right? Um, that's, that's pretty critical. Um, importing and labeling photos at the house. I never, I never put photos, and I'm not saying this is bad, but I just didn't do it. Um, I put photos in folders or like created a folder for every insured and put stuff in there. I just put it all into Xactimate and just skipped that part. I also used a snapshot camera with SD card so I could just slide it into the side of the my my machine and you know jump into Xactimate, pull up the images and import them right there. And then using keyboard shortcuts, labeling the photos. Um, obviously you're taking photos in the order that you're scoping the house. Um, so, and you want to make sure that the order that you scope the house is, is also the kind of the order, the way the estimate is. Right. Um, and, and I think you're right to like, absolutely correct to, you know, if your feet are muddy or you're, you know, it's early in the, earlier in the morning and it's, the grass is wet, right. You know, you don't want to be like trudging through the insurance house with dirt and stuff all over your feet. Right. Um, so going inside first, plus that gets like, that gets that part done. Right. Um, and then the, the, it's also, you know, just as far as like, me Oh, go ahead. Two to, two to determine a lot of right now I'm doing a ton of two story steep houses and yeah. they, they have a leak on the first floor and that's right. what they called about. So I'm going in there looking at that and then hopefully I have access to an attic so I can look in there to see if there's any signs of moisture coming through because usually the first floor is not going to have an issue with the be, be caused by the roof leaking, right? right. It's going to be something else. Um, but also, even if it's not that case and it is the second story where the water leak is, then when I'm on the roof, I can really determine what the cause of loss is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah. And, and for, for a hell claims, you know, you probably wouldn't, it would it wouldn't matter so much because you know especially if you're in like a heavily damaged area you're, you're total in the roof anyway so you know you go inside the, the water spots over there it doesn't matter if it's there or there roof's gone um, so yeah so importing and labeling photos um, and then timing all this stuff right how long does it, does it take you to import label photos if you can if you can use like text shortcuts with the text expander or whatever to label the photos labeling photos is probably one of the biggest things I, I feel like for adjusters. Um, Xactimate Mobile is a, a, a kind of a game changer, if you ask me. And um, I do have a training in Adjuster TV Plus for like soup to nuts, how to use Xactimate Mobile, where all the buttons are. Um, and then because every every trainer does things, they're a little bit differently depending who, on who their like main students are. Like my main students are adjusters, not PAs or contractors. So my... Xactimate mobile training is in the context of the claims process. So, right. So I have a whole section in there about like, all right, now that you know where all the buttons are, how to take photos and how to draw the sketches and stuff like that. Let's put this to work in the context of a full claim, including Xactimate X1 desktop. How do we get it out of X1? Um, how do we get it back in? All that kind of stuff. Um, so that might be helpful for you. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is Symbility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims adjusting videos showing how it's done? 
What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along. Get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along. Get right along to it. Thank you.